In this video, we'll look at the concept of finding an equivalent single payment to replace two or more cash flows. Let's begin with example one, which reads, a person owes $100 in one year and an additional $500 is due in five years. What single payment, A, now, or B, in three years, will satisfy these obligations? Assume 19% interest compounded annually. Let's write down the interest for reference. We have the interest is compounded annually, and that's 19%. And also remember that the future value formula is FV is equal to PV times 1 plus I to the power of N. That's your future value, present value, interest, and number of periods. So if we look at these two debts on a timeline, so I'll quickly draw one for you. This is now, and this is one year and you owe 100. You also owe 500 in five years. So that's five years in our timeline, and that's $500. Now we want to know what the present value of these two debts are now, that's question A, and also three years from now. I'll show that right here, and I'll put a Y. So we'll begin with question A. To do this question correctly, we have to discount this debt to the present and this debt to the present. We'll be using this formula twice, but since we're looking for the present value, the now, we need to isolate for PV. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll discuss what we do next. So to isolate for PV, we simply divide both sides by 1 plus i to the power of n. We end up with 1 plus i raised to the power of n is equal to PV. And we'll be calculating the present value twice, once for this debt and once for that one. Then we'll sum them up. So for question A, we have the future value being 100 over 1 plus, since it's 19% interest, we'll write down 0 0.19. And we raise that to the number of periods. Since it's being compounded annually, from one year to now, that's one period. And so we'll find the answer to this. It will give us the present value for that particular debt. And we have to sum that, whatever this is equal to, we sum it to the present value of this debt. So again, the future value is 500. 1 plus 0 0.19. Now to discount this back to the present, that means five periods, because from five to now, that's five years. Summing this up will give us the total single payment that would consolidate these two future payments. Now using our calculator, we'll add these up. 100 divided by 1 plus 0 0.19 to the power of 1. This gives us that number plus 500 divided by 1 plus 0 0.19 raised to the power of 5. And so by adding these together, we end up with 293, and we should round to two decimal places, 5, 6. So that right there is the equivalent value of these two debts being consolidated in a single payment today. Moving on to part B, what single payment in three years will satisfy these obligations? This time the focal date is three years from today. That means we need to forward this two years and discount this two years. What is the future value of that debt two years from when it's due? And what is the present value of this debt two years prior? So I need to find out the future value of this. Future value is equal to the present value, which is 100, times 1 plus 0 0.19, and the period n is 2. Whatever that is equal to, we will add it to whatever this is equal to two years prior. For this, we'll use this formula because we're discounting. We're going back. So I'll write down a future value of 500 is equal to 1 plus 0 
raised to the power of 2. So this thing plus that thing will give us y. Let's go ahead and use our calculator. I'll just put a plus sign in between, and I'll also erase that. So 100 times 1 plus 0 0.19 raised to the power of 2. That's equal to that plus 500 divided by 1 plus 0 0.19. Close and raise that to the power of 2. And we end up with 494 decimal 69. So that will replace these two values if we choose to pay three years from today at that focal date. If you'd like to see the answer to question number two, feel free to watch part two of this video and I'll show you how to come up with the answer. But in the meantime, try it out. See what you find. Talk to you all later.